Valentine's Day is a lot of pressure. Everything increases their prices and it's hard to know what to spend. So let's take a look at what the average American spends to find out what is normal. A study also says that overspending is not the best way to win over your significant other and they found that the average American expects to spend $142 on their significant other this Valentine's Day. In return, they think their partner will spend less at only $119.20. the average American spends on Valentine's Day. The website comparecards.com has put together some amazing numbers on how much the average American expected to spend on Valentine's Day last year. The survey was full of interesting insights. On average, the maximum amount respondents felt their partner should spend was $201.20. Men will spend and expect more. The average man will spend $248.90 on his loved one, while the average woman will spend just $57. On the other hand, men think their partner will spend $189, while women think their partner will spend $63.90. 31% of Americans would be turned off if their partner spent too much on Valentine's Day. Which might be an important lesson for some people, you can't buy your way into someone's heart. 1 in 10 Americans have gone into debt because of Valentine's Day spending. And more than 1 in 4 Americans have gone into debt while pursuing a romantic relationship. Which is just crazy. Seriously, if you're broke or don't have money, instead think of heartfelt gifts that don't cost money. Make something for them, do something that shows you value them or similar. And sadly, millennials have more dating debt than all other generations. 23% of millennials have broken off a relationship because of debt, which is bad because that money could be earning them more as they get older through investments. When asked how much Americans plan to spend on their significant other this Valentine's Day, the average amount varied between gender and generation, with men and Gen Xs planning to spend the most on their significant other. Overall, Americans expect to spend $142. For men, it's $248.90. For women, it's $57. For Gen Z, it's $82.50. For Millennials, it's $113.40. For Gen X, it's $293.10. And for Baby Boomers, it's only $55.30. This certainly says that older people spend less on Valentine's Day. I think this is because they are more likely to be in longer term, more stable relationships and they are more likely to have money goals together, rather than trying to spoil or impress their partner with expensive items. When looking at what Americans expect their significant other to spend in return also varies drastically between demographic groups. Overall it's $119.20. For men, it's $189. For women, it's $63.90. For Gen Z, it's $82.10. For Millennials, it's $115. For Gen X, it's $223.70. For Baby Boomers, it's $41.20. Again, we see the same decrease in spending as people age. 31% of those surveyed said that they would be turned off by someone spending too much. So how much is too much? On average, anything above the following amounts would be considered too much. Overall, it's $201. $1.20. For men, it's $271.90. For women, it's $145.20. For Gen Z, it's $104.10. For millennials, it's $196. For Gen X, it's $375.80. And for baby boomers, it's $73.60. So it appears that Gen X is pretty happy for you to spend a lot on them. Finally, the survey from comparecards.com ends with some interesting stats. Nearly half of Americans think a relationship will fail if both people have different views on debt. 73% of partnered Americans say they're on the same page with their significant other when it comes to debt. However, 18% said they had different views and 10% aren't sure what their partner thinks. Hopefully this gives you much more insight on how much the average person spends on Valentine's Day. Make sure to check out some of my upcoming videos for some ideas on what you can do for Valentine's Day that isn't as expensive. As always, let me know what you think in the comments. Chuck me a like if you enjoyed this and good luck with your Valentine's Day.